All right, guys, this is the material I'm using. Uh, this is a La Habra, it's a polyvinyl. It is specifically engineered for attaching styrofoam molds to brown coats because it has a bonding agent in it. What I did is I, I mixed some, then you wait a few minutes and you, you remix. It's called slacking, the same thing you do with tiles. So I add a little bit of sand here. Now this is just my way, guys. I'm not telling you to do this because all the materials we generally show in all of our videos are designed for specific use and we use them for exactly what they're designed for. But since this is unconventional and it's not designed for this purpose, you guys don't do this. I'm just showing you what I do and I'll show you why. All right, now this, I put polybond on it and I added sand and I filled up craters and this is what it looks like 29 years later. I did it in 1990 over here now if my driveway looked this good i'm at my neighbor's house i wouldn't touch it because that's fine they just added some tar so that it doesn't bottom up when you climb when you cross it keep in mind my driveway i drive a, a eight well six ton truck over it and that's empty just daily for 30 years it looks good all right this is what my driveway used to look like it had four inches of tar above the concrete and it had deep uh, holes like that and so I pressure washed it well because not even polybond will adhere to a surface that's dusty or dirty or grimy or slimy so the, the what I'm going to use this product for is it's for the cracks and it works great uh, in certain sick, uh, circumstances because caulking it would be a three trip caulking adventure or some of the products made by a lot of the friendly companies where you, you pour it in and you allow it to slack or set in these cracks. I'll be up and down for like four or five trips. But this, the product that I'm gonna use, I've used it on my own residences for uh, many, many times for different things. What I'm getting at is, this is uh, what I'm gonna do, and you guys can look and watch it, but you won't find Polybond at any of the stores. It's a product that's usually sold at West Side or any of the large plastering building material shops. So anyway, we're gonna get busy and show you what we're gonna do with it. Hi guys, uh, Kirk Carl and family here. I'm gonna show you how to repair some massive structural cracks. The difference between structural cracks and hairline cracking are that the building's moving. Or actually, in this case, the building's quite stable. The porch is settling. 100-year-old house. We're way up uh, high enough in the mountains where I can see two bridges uh, that way. But we won't go there to show you that. Anyway, you see the, the porch is settling. And uh, actually, for a 90-year-old house, it's not that uncommon. Uh, we got trees growing all next to us. Could be worse. It could have redwood trees. The branches of redwood trees become like they're trunks. I've seen them like this big and they just get bigger and bigger each year and they lift a whole house. I've seen houses like this. Worse. It's just the branches are raising them. So we got a big tree right here. We're on a hill. We have a lot of seasons of rain. Rain will lift a house, drop it. After 90 seasons, you get this kind of stuff. It's actually quite typical, um, usually anyway. These cracks right here, they're so large, caulking won't work. Not even uh, any of the caulkings I've showed in the past five or 600 videos because uh, they're made specifically for say three eighths of an inch, three eighths of an inch wide and possibly deep. These are almost a half inch. That's why I went to the polybond. The polybond with a little bit of sand, it sticks to everything. I told the fella here, use your jet stream on your water hose and get all the dust, dirt and grime because even the stuff I'm gonna bring won't adhere to it. We got here. We used about an hour of elbow grease to clean up a little bit better because we want this stuff to adhere. We want to push it in. So here's what I'll show you guys. We take, like this is the polybond we brought with sand in it. I push it in two, three times, two, three times. I want it to go as far back as possible. So we just over and over and over. And each time I push it, I am getting into that crack. I want it to go all the way to the foundation. I could see the foundation in here. So. This is great for this kind of stuff here. Again, you see me going over and over and over it. I'm pushing it all the way to the back, to the back of that wall. Now this stuff, it's not like big foam or um, caulking where it'll flex, but it will adhere. And it'll, it'll give you a little bit of movement 
but that's not, there's nothing else he can do because he was going to tear all the stairs down. I said, you can still do that. But like say right here, this is a humongous gap. We could fill it like this. And when we, we fill it like this, we're going to have to float it. Floating it just means we're going to texture it to match the stairs. But notice, I'm going over it and over it and over it. I go over it until it pops out. When it pops out, that means that's all it's going to take, and it's full. So I'm using a lot of elbow grease too, guys. I'm pushing with a lot of pressure. This is pretty loose, this step. Now, can this correct that? Not really, guys. Nothing is going to hold a 100-ton house up. This house and the stairs are dropping a little bit, so it's about a 100 tons. This is a cosmetic fix right here. We're here to do the crack, but I saw this kind of loose, so I thought, well, let me put a little bit here just to brace this uh, until he decides what he really wants to do with this because a bonding agent or caulking is not going to stop a house from moving, especially when it's a 100-ton house. It's just not the nature of it. So we come down here, and by the way, guys, we're, we've got about 30 stairs to do, so I'm going to make this quick. Now, I'm not going to show all the stairs, but I'm just trying to show you what you can do with certain materials. I'm going to fill this guy up here, pushing it in, pushing it in, right here, push it in. And because this has a bonding agent already in it, this is one of the better products for attaching styrofoam molds. Uh, I don't have to worry about it adhering to the sides either. And when I say the sides, I mean the sides right here. I've taken my trowel and I beat it up a little bit by getting the paint out like this. I left this one piece right here to show you guys. Use the heel. Uh, don't go pounding it like a hammer, otherwise you destroy a, a tool. These are 40 bucks. You don't want to destroy them. Use the heel. See that? I left this one right here to prove a point because we've already done the rest. So that, remember, nothing adheres to dust. Get that stuff out of there. Okay, so we continue on our merry way. And this, again, this is um, about the consistency that I want it. Any looser, I'll be here forever. If it's any tighter, I can't spread it. And I want it to be able to push to the very back. We get it all the way to the very back. That's what we want. Okay, I'm pushing it again. This is a humongous crack here. I can see that concrete. You can see the concrete. That's a pretty big crack. It's almost an inch, and it's obviously an inch deep because stucco is generally seven eighths of an inch. In this case, a two coat float finish, it's uh, one inch in a lot of areas. So I'll just hit this last one. Then I'm going to grab a float and show you how we float it and make it pretty. Uh, again, fill that crack. Fill it up deep as you can. Don't, don't be afraid to use the material. That's what it's for. And here I'm going to feather this in, meaning I want to get this hump out because there's not much you can do for it, guys. The fact that he says, gee, I need new cement, possibly. But this allows him a little bit of time. You know, it's, it's more of a an ugly cosmetic issue he's got going on right now. Uh, again, guys, I want to make it clear, this is not what this material is designed for. I'm just using it for this because caulking, it's past, it's way past the stage of caulking. You'd have to caulk it maybe 10 times, 10 different days. Uh, this is what I would do if it were my own place. Uh, and again, I'm putting more, putting more, putting more, filling this up deep as possible because we want to fill it all the way. There are, I've done a lot of videos, guys. I've showed uh, polyurethane caulkings for this. I've showed uh, a lot of products. I've showed putting um, uh, uh, bending uh, board in back of there. It's, uh, it's like a little styrofoam. You push this backer rod in it. That's the word I'm looking for. You push backer rod down so you don't use a lot of cement, but little petty thing here it really doesn't matter anyway I'm gonna go ahead uh, I don't uh, grab another bucket with a float and I'll show you how we float it all right guys this is what you need to do next after you've squished that stuff in there you float everything and this actually when it dries is this it's kind of like the it, the color of this concrete here which we're trying to match so right here for example I'm gonna this float has got water on it now what I want to do is blend it in to the existing 
and this concrete has got aggregate in it which is rocks so it's got a float finish so what we want to do is color the whole top I want to color this in this uh, whole step down so that it blends in because the color difference is going to be painted on the wall there but that's okay that's going to be painted so we do this now I need a little bit more water on this float otherwise when I go to feather this piece in it won't feather in because there's too much aggregate or sand on this okay now I have a clean float now what I want to do is I want to take it up first up up why up because now it will stay so we take it this way more water if I keep running a a dry float over this it fall right off and so again I'm gonna float this in I'm gonna spin it around get more water on that he doesn't know I'm trying to fix this piece up for him but because it's really not this is not what I'm here for but since I'm here I figure what the heck man let's let's make it all a little prettier okay that put that back together and you notice I'm going up if I go down what happens I draw it all down and it falls off so I'm gonna cover this whole step right here just to try to blend it in so when it dries it's not as noticeable here we're cleaning that float again notice guys I always tap this float on the inner bucket like so what happens if you tap it like this well you bend the trowel the, the float inward no, it doesn't work well okay this one right here is gonna take a little bit more skill we want to go up we want to pull straight up here and go to the corner we want to go up here because I've filled this up in order to create the illusion that this ain't broke it is broke so it's just an illusion now again nothing no amount of stucco or um, even the best concrete is going to fix this this is just temporary thing on the stairs you cannot put a put a concrete or a cementitious material over broken concrete concrete and expect that to fix it it doesn't work that way you have to tear it all off and redo it but just for the sake of since I'm doing this crack repair I want to pretty this up a little bit more for the folks okay so we come in here and remember I'm just prettying it up uh, this any of you guys oh that's a fix it is not a fix guys it is a temporary solution on something until they figure out what they want to do for the concrete we're here for the cracks and here also we're here just to uh, make it a little bit prettier he didn't even know I was gonna do this I'm only here to do this crack here but we will make it pretty okay I'm getting all I'm done with all that stuff right there in fact you can't see it but I got a hole right there but I'll get that in a minute now what I'm gonna do is pull this up and why at the house I said I'm gonna add a little bit of sand because there's the polybond that we use they have some sanded ones and some that are just no sand this finish I could tell because he sent me a photograph of it I haven't been here before this is just uh, all online stuff he sent me a photograph said can you uh, fix the crack and I said sure so I see now he's got other issues so I added a little bit of sand to give this texture I did I was able to see on uh, the photograph online that I always on my side it says if you have uh, questions email me pictures show me so he's showing me he said hey there's this now what we do is we just keep going along guys we keep we clean that float we go along just flip it around take the other side where it's clean feather it in feather it in guys make it pretty clean the float again because the float accumulates sand and then it will drag the finish off that we want to achieve so anyway you see where we're going with this guy we've got about well, we got a lot of stairs so and by the way this part sunk in this is just a last tip before I get out of here it's sunk in is it the end of the world heck no it's like caulking if you caulk something and the next day it shrunk in because it got sucked in big deal just add more so I just added some more just now because what we want to do is get it all the way to the back of that foundation I want it to touch the foundation all right guys as usual that's my tip of the day for really large structural cracks Carl on the camera Kirk here 
We thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.